Boy Bustus' daughter, Gurley, asks her father, Daddy, what is politics? Boy is very proud of her inquisitiveness. As he's gotten older, spent and rebuilt the small inheritance his father earning left him, risen in politics, watched his daughter grow, witnessed his son being born, seen his marriage shed its glitter, he's realized that our greatest doom is to raise children who will repeat our mistakes. This is something he knows he doesn't want. He says, well, girly girl, let me explain it this way. First, I'm the head of the family, so you can call me the president. Your mom makes the rules, so you can call her the government. We're here to take care of your needs, so we can call you the people. Your nanny and I works for us, and we pay her for her work, so we'll call her the working class. And your baby brother, Junior, let's call him the future. Now think about that and see if it makes sense. Gurley goes to bed, pondering what she's heard. In the middle of the night, Gurley awakens. She hears baby brother Junior crying, so she checks and discovers he's totally crapped in his diaper. Gurley goes to her parents' room to find her mother fast asleep. Unable to wake her because of the sleeping pills taken every night, Gurley goes to her nanny's room. The door, however, is locked. Gurley peeks through the keyhole and sees her father in bed with him dying. Gurley goes back to her own bed. At the breakfast table the next morning, Gurley tells her father and mother, Daddy, Mommy, I think I understand politics now. <laughs> Boy is proud. Wow, he exclaims, you really are sharp. Explain to us in your own words how politics work. Well, Gurley begins, the president is really screwing the working class. <laughs> and the government doesn't do anything except sleep and sleep. Nobody ever pays attention to the people. And the future, well, the future swims in shit. <laughs> Boy Bustos kisses his daughter proudly on the head.